One of the common features of a modern website is the facility for visitors to quickly share that content onwardly in their social media network. If I take a look at one such site, a good example of this in action, here we have a site called Mashable.com. It's one of the top social media related sites. And you can see on the right hand side, here is a Twitter uh, link, the Twitter share button, which allows somebody to quickly uh, press the tweet button and send a link to this content out to their social network. And you can see in this illustration here, nearly 1200 people have done just that. So it's a great way to disseminate content, to promote your website content across people's social media networks. And the great news here is that Excite Pro version 2.5 makes adding this exact button, this Twitter share button, button a snap. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do right now. So here I am in Excite Pro. Here's a site that I've already put together and I'm going to hop over to my web pages tab and we have an article here into which I'm going to insert the Twitter share button just to demonstrate how easy it is to do. All I need to do is where I would like the Twitter share button as we saw a moment ago on the Mashable site where I'd like it to appear I just right click with my mouse and from the menu that appears, go down to the social media menu and from the sub menu, choose the insert Twitter share option. I'll just do that a little bit over here on the left hand side uh, so that you uh, you don't get that cut off on your screen. So you can see there it is, the insert Twitter share button, nice and simple. And on clicking that, we see the Twitter share module, the window appear. And uh, we have here the uh, options as far as the different button styles that are available that we can choose from and the tweet text. So this is a great site I recommend um, that you check out. Okay, and that's the text that is going to precede the link then to the web page in question. Now we can put a specific URL in this box or we can leave it blank, uh, at which point Excite Pro will automatically pick up the correct link for that particular page on which the Twitter share button is featured. And we can also choose from languages, but I'm going to leave that set to English. And then of course, having made those settings changes, all I need to do is go ahead and click the insert button and that's it. It's as simple as that. That's all we needed to do to insert the Twitter share button. How's that going to look when we look at it on the page? Well, I'm going to go ahead and click the publish button right now, publish this web page and we'll take a look at it on a live website. So it's just going to uh, generate the pages and uh, publish that content. It should only publish the uh, the one page hopefully as that's the one I've just updated. So there are pages are going up and as soon as it finishes publishing we'll just go ahead and click the open website button. So here's our website so we just need to scroll down jump over to the article section of that site and then choose the article that we were just editing right there and sure enough there we have it over on the right hand side our option to send a tweet. The Twitter share button has been added uh, having published it. So it's nice and simple. Just took a couple of minutes and there we have that functionality inbuilt. What happens when we click the tweet link there? If I click that, we're asked to, um, to basically confirm that that's what we want to send. We're logged into a Twitter account already. Um, otherwise it might ask you to log in first of all. Um, and you can see there's the text that we specified and the shortened link to the web page. I just click tweet and that's it. It sent that tweet and we can actually view that on Twitter uh, to see that uh, that has in fact worked. And sure enough, here we have the tweet. This is a great site I recommend you check out. And if I click that link, you'll see that it takes uh, takes somebody straight through to that web page again. So nice and neat. And you can also see um, our having actually clicked that link and tweeted it once, it's updated the uh, the tweet count there for us as well. So really neat, powerful stuff. So we just saw how quickly we can insert that, uh, you know, just in the page there. Uh, we could have equally, if I just hop over to another article here, we could have inserted the link in line. So within a table cell, um, we just float the uh, table cell over to the left hand side of the screen so that the text wraps around it and insert our Twitter link there. And as you can see, uh, it sort of puts it into the actual opening paragraph, which is a great position for it because this is sort of obviously where you're engaging the reader, hopefully drawing them into the content. And you'll be surprised at how many people will, uh, because they're well used to doing this now, uh, will tweet the content onwards to their social networks. So uh, it's a great way to promote your content very quickly. It's very, very simple to do as you just saw in version 2.5.